So we've gone over masking, we've gone over vis uh, alphas, now let's go over visibility. So you'll see down here, we've already talked about transpose, we've talked about all of these except for paint, we haven't gotten our RGB painting yet, but we also have select lasso and select rectangle. What these are, if you hold down, so holding down shift is smooth, holding down control is mask, holding down control and shift is your selection modifiers. So I'll control drag to unmask, hold down control shift, I can go up here and I have select lasso and select rectangle, or I can go down here to the corner where they are by default, with your uh, default custom interface here. So I'm gonna hold down control shift, and if I control shift and drag, I can just show these objects here. And that reminds me actually, when we were masking, and you hold down control to mask, you can draw out, if you have mask pin, you can draw out a rectangle, and then it'll mask through the object. If you use visibility, and I'm gonna turn perspective off here, and I'm holding down shift to snap it to an orthographic view, and I hold down shift, select rectangle, and I can drag a rectangle. I can use my space bar to move it around, just like with masking, and I can just, when it's green, it'll keep all those polygons. If I hold down control shift and drag and then hold down alt, it'll get rid of those polygons. So now when I go to the front and mask, I can mask through and there's no polygons back here for it to keep masking. So if I hold down control shift and tap, that's gonna bring all my polygons back and you're gonna notice it didn't mask all the way through. So you can use visibility for a lot of cool things and you can include that with your masking. I'm gonna hold down control shift. You're gonna see we have select lasso. So I'm gonna hold down, and you can also select it down here. So with select lasso, you can hold down control shift and start dragging. And then you, of course you can hold down alt and that'll un, that'll make it not visible. You can let go of alt. You can use the space bar, move it around. You can include that. If you wanna invert this visibility, you can hold down control shift and drag and then let go and that'll invert it. And all of that stuff is over here, or it should be, or maybe not uh, in Big Brother ZBrush. There is a visibility menu, just like there's a masking menu where you can do all this stuff. There's a visibility menu that I don't see where you could do some of the stuff with button clicks. So we're just going to do it manually, which is fine. You should do it manually anyways. So again, hold down control shift. You can select these pieces here. If you want to invert that control shift drag, that'll invert that visibility. You can hold down control shift. And if you want to add to the subtracted visibility, hold down alt. And now you can just go through here and just start taking away other pieces of this stuff. Now, again, with this visibility here, if you want to mask visible, the hotkey for that is control tap in your document or in your space out here. You can do, or you can do just mask all in your masking menu. Control shift tap, now control shift to get your select rectangle tap to bring everything back. And now all those pieces are masked. So instead of going in there and masking all this stuff, you can use visibility masking and then bring everything back. And then you can control tap to invert that mask if you want to. And let's see what we got in our deformation menu. Yeah, so we got deformation and inflate. So now we can inflate through that mask if you want to and unmask and we still have Dynamesh selected. So you can Dynamesh this all together, go in here and smooth it out. Or you can go in here and you can do a polish. We have polish open circle and a polish close circle. So if you hover over polish and hold down control, you're gonna see the open circle will apply a polish that will maintain the overall form and then close circle will smooth without maintaining the volume. Uh, in Big Brother ZBrush, there's a polish by feature that does the opposite. If you have a closed circle, it will maintain volume. And it looks like this is maintaining volume and then open circle, I guess open circle does maintain volume. So in the polish in here, open circle will maintain your volume and then close circle will disregard your volume and just polish the heck out of it, I think. Or so it says in documentation. So whatever ends up working. So go ahead and turn L off. And so we've talked about visibility here. And I think so if we go to select rectangle, just like when we went masking and we were playing around with the different strokes, if we do control shift, select rectangle, there's different strokes in here. So if you want to select rectangle, a circle, control shift, drag out a circle, and then um, control shift, drag to invert that, control shift, tap to bring everything back, all that good stuff. So I'll go ahead and change this back to rectangle for rectangle. You, you know, you got lasso and curve in here. So use that to your advantage as well.